Hey guys, this is Jeremy over at Video Fort with another tutorial here. This time for Premiere Pro and what we're going to be doing today is creating subclips. Now subclips are super helpful if you have a really long original source clip that you're pulling from and working with. So in my case here, I have a bunch of really great time lapse footage from Video Fort. But you can see it's a kind of a lot to work with. Uh, the footage is varied. We go from the desert to the city. And I'm going to want to make smaller clips from this clip so that it's easier to organize and just easier overall for me to work with. So let's get started by isolating this city time lapse of uh, Los Angeles. So I'm going to start with marking my in point here. And then I'm going to scroll down to where the clip ends mark my out point with the O key, I marked my in point with the I key. And let's take a look at different ways we can create a clip from this. So first, if I just drag this down into my project window, you'll see what happens is it makes a duplicate of my original clip. But when I click on that, it's going to have the in and out point that I selected. So that's one way to go about it, you can just keep duplicating with your in and out as you see fit, but that's not really the way that I like to work with subclips. So we'll leave that for now and we'll take a look at what happens if I drag this same clip, but this time I'm holding the command key or the control key if you're using a PC. And now you'll see that I'm getting this make subclip window to pop up. So I'm gonna name this LA knife and I'm gonna restrict the trims to the subclip boundaries. And we'll take a look at what that means in a minute. So now that I have that subclip, I'm going to go ahead and make another one. So this time I'm going to go into our desert stuff here. Again, mark my in point with the I key. Mark my out point with the O key. And let's take a look at a couple of different ways you can make a subclip. So we already know that you can hold command and drag it into your project window. But you can also go up to this clip menu click on make subclip, or you can use the command U key or control U if you're on a PC. So I'm going to click on that. Again, the window comes up. I'm going to name this desert and I'm going to uncheck this restrict trims to subclip boundaries on this clip. So you'll see that these subclips that we created had different icons from the one that we made by just dragging and duplicating. And that lets you know that they are subclips and they're not just duplications of the master clip. Let's go ahead and drag our two subclips into the timeline. So looking at the clips, you'll see that one has these triangles in the corner and the other does not. The one that has the triangles was the one that we restricted and the one that doesn't is the one that we unchecked that restrict box. And the main difference is with this unchecked version, I can expand and shorten the clip as I see fit. And that's essentially changing the in and out points that I selected in the sub clip. With this other version that's restricted, I can shorten it if I wanted to, but I can't expand it beyond the in and out points of what I've selected. Now, say I wanted to change whether or not one of these clips was restricted or unrestricted. What I could do is come over to our clips here, select it, right click or control click, go to edit sub clip, and you'll see that that checkbox is back and I can choose to leave it or remove it. Let's go ahead and leave it. Another cool thing I can do in this window is actually change my in and out points. So by scrubbing here at the start point or the end point, I can actually change where the in and out is and you'll see that from the shift here. So in this case, I'm shifting the start and the end of the clip about a second. Let's go ahead and cancel that though. So that's basically it when it comes to creating sub clips. Uh, I'm sure you can already think of a couple different ways to use this technique. Um, super helpful when you have a long take that's been shot in a series. So a lot of times insert shots uh, will be done in series and you might want to isolate the take that you want to use or the couple of takes that you want to use so that you don't have to scrub through that take every single time that you're trying to find what you want. Or if you're just given a long clip that has a bunch of different types of footage on it like this time lapse clip where maybe you have some exterior footage, you have some interior footage, you have whatever it may be 
it just comes in handy to be able to isolate those clips and organize them in a way that's more intuitive than to just have that bulk clip to work with. All right, so that's how to create subclips. Be sure to check out videofort.com for more After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials.